Pam, 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 pam. Thank you. Take care, enjoy your day. Yep. Bye now. Hello and welcome to the shop floor here at Brooks Collectibles. We've just closed the shop after our first weekend open of 2024. It's a half term, so we're gonna be open and doing some jobs, getting the shop cleaned and tidied and ready to open. If you saw my last video, you'll have seen that there was a door here and there were piles of stuff all over the shop that, were, that we'd been collecting throughout the winter to make the shop even more awesome for this season. If you're visiting Blackpool this year, the shop is open from the 1st of March till the end of November. And if you're not sure of the times, you can always message me through Facebook or Instagram. But what I thought I would do for this video, like I said, the shop was in a real tip. We've spent the weekend getting it cleaned and tidied, although we still have some gaps because we're waiting for stock to arrive. I thought I would do a little bit of a shop tour and give you an idea of what the shop is like if you're new to the channel or show you some of the cool stuff that's already arrived if you're a regular subscriber. Right, let's go on a tour around the shop. Now, if you've never visited the shop before, you may not have an idea of the layout. It is rather unusual here because if you're walking in off the promenade from the seafront, you come through these doors here, actually through someone else's shop, and that brings you into the giftware shop and the, well, the main shop floor, basically. But then there is another, well, there's two other parts to Brooks Collectibles. One is the museum, which is behind me there, which I'm gonna do a tour of on another day. But where I'm gonna to start today is through here in the model shop. So I'm just gonna take you through this little secret doorway here. Now, sometimes you can come in through here, but if it's windy and cold, we normally keep that door closed. So it's a little bit of a history. The shop opened here in 1949, and we started selling Blackpool gifts and souvenirs, handbags, barometers, thermometers, the general kind of seaside stuff. But along with that, we also had a Metoy account and in the 50s and 60s, a Corgi and Airfix and a Hornby account, which is where the passion for these kind of things came from. I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna take you down this side of the shop because down here we have all our Corgi cases. Now, as you come through the door here, these are mainly toys. We have a little bit of scale electric. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going over this stuff because it may not be relevant to everyone. Down here we have catalogues. I'm just gonna zoom up here and that's the 18 van from a past video if you've not seen it. Then with a little bit of James Bond and with some new products to fit in here. Same goes for up here, but then as you come down, we've got a little bit of vintage Corgi and Dinky in there, but then some modern Batman stuff. But I'm just gonna nip down here because this is really rather cool. That's the Corgi Tarzan gift set. Basically, the box behind here becomes a window display and the cardboard folds out in different sections. You can have Tarzan hanging up there. You've got all your animals. You've got the poacher at the back. Little Tarzan treehouse here. This really is a very cool gift set. Then along here, oh, we've got Hot Wheels, a little bit of modern Mego, Star Trek. There's a lot of vintage airfix there. And then down here, trains, trams, and buses. Now this kind of stock changes all the time throughout the year because we sell a lot of those sort of things. Um, this is another case, this is quite a cool case. A bit more Mego, Superman, Action Man, vintage Lego, bit of He-Man and a bit of modern Star Wars at the bottom. And then we're at one of my favorite cases, which is the Star Wars case. And I'll show you quickly. There's a Rebo band. It's a very cool biker scout. Some bits of modern up there. There's some very excited kids in the shop next door. I don't know if you can hear them. Now, again, we've got a gap here because there's some stuff coming. Oh, there's some black hole figures. I'm sorry about the glare from the windows. It's hard to avoid that, I'm afraid. Oh, there we go. So we've a lot of vintage Star Wars figures here. And then unusual modern bits mixed in. 
That's the door back through into the other shop. Here we have lots and lots. It's hard to get rid of the reflection there. Yeah, I'm going to tilt the camera up a bit like that. So we've got lots of different action figures, all different genres, a few beta Star Wars, a bit of Superman and Batman, the Corpse, the odd G.I. Joe, Jurassic Park, uh, Wolverine, and Highlander the Animated Series as well. So there's a bit of a mix of stuff there. Then again here, we've got a lot of vintage spawn. At the back of the case there, we've got our signed set of Gotham figures, a bit more Diamond Select. And at the back, we've got Buffy comics and also Doctor Who comics in this case. Down here, again, another set of Arrow figures that are all signed. That's a really cool set of figures. I can't remember the name of them. I should do. There's uh, Funko Pops there. And we've got some really cool vintage cap guns here from the 60s and 70s. Then we have a lot of modern Batman toys apart from the old Mego Batmobile there. Uh, these are build-it-yourself little wooden kits. So I'm going to take you over to the middle case. And we've got a Russian tank there. That's a rather cool Corgi set. There's all these top trumps. Then with wagons. And then with a bit of Rourke's Drift. Got some gentle giant Star Wars busts. That's a Bounty Hunter set. That's really cool. That's a really cool model of a TVR. Sorry about the reflection. A couple of CMC models there. And then there's a lot of toys. And then we have the case behind the counter. So I'm just gonna nip round and show you the stuff that we've got here, because this is where a lot of the good stuff is. Getting strobing from that light, aren't we? I've moved all the obstacles out of the way so I can show you a lot of the cool stuff that's in this cabinet here. So this is mainly vintage toys or unusual and interesting things that we keep behind the shop counter so people can't borrow it or just take it out to have a look at in the light, as one guy said to me, as he was carrying out quite a large amount of toys that he hadn't paid for. You've got to love the public, haven't you? I'm going to start on this side because there's a bit of an issue with the light strobing. But we've got some very cool Power Rangers toys on the top there. There's a couple of Disney black hole jigsaws. There's my Captain Scarlet. I'm actually just going to skip around that, but you might have seen it a bit. That's a spoiler alert for a later video. We've got a modern big truck there. And then we've got a Temenosuke Blade Runner blaster just there. On this shelf is my full set of Star Wars figures. That's all of them, including the monsters. I'm just going to slowly scan over these. There's going to be a bit of reflection and stuff from the glass, so I can only apologise. I'm just trying to avoid those lights because they're strobing a bit. Zoom out. I think it's, is that Virgil? Virgil and Parker, 90s Palom puppets there. That's a rather cool Micro Machines Predator set there. There's a booby firing robot there. That's a transformer, that transforms into a cap gun, which is rather cool. There's my 80s gizmo. And this, I did a video on a while ago. I started to put this case together. Struggled to get I'm going to come around this side. Struggle to get a Luke Skywalker with a lightsaber. I've just managed to get one. So this set's going to get swapped out and put in the museum. There's my trash compactor monster on there. Just behind my space helmet. That's a quick look round, depending on how good I am at editing it. That's a quick look round at the shop floor in the model shop. So what I'm going to do now is take you back through into the main shop and show you a little bit of this, not too much, because a lot of it is, if I just flip the camera around, a lot of it is Blackpool gifts and souvenirs that us toy collectors aren't really that interested in. And that sound was me tripping over that ladder that I'd left out before. So I'm gonna start here, fridge magnets. We've got 
bags, <laughs> squeaky chickens, all the essential Blackpool stuff basically. I'm going to take you straight down here behind us, or oh, behind me in a second, if I go like that, is our gothic case with gothic t-shirts, handbags, all kinds of interesting things. Behind me is one of our favourite movie franchises, there's the Harry Potter stuff, there's my life-size Voldemort there. Bags, mugs, prop replicas, all kinds of fun things in that case. Next case along, I'm, being, I'm going very quickly on these because maybe people aren't that interested. In this case we have Betty Boop and if I flick the camera around, just pan around like that, you've got the Harry Potter, Betty Boop and then we're into the horror case. Now there's a gap at the top there because with some new stuff coming but I'll just show you. There's a little bit of Wednesday Adams, Death Note, Chucky. So we've got horror and manga in here, some really cool Ghostbusters figures there, alien figures there, and then manga figures there, and of course the very scary Chucky dolls. Down here we've got some modern Star Wars collectibles and a few figures. Behind me here, really cool Doctor Who case. There was a signed Torchwood figures, lots of different bits of merch. A little bit of Marvel stuff in this one. Stranger Things in here. And then Batman and Harlequin, although there's not a lot of products about at the moment. Quickly take you down this side of the shop. And we've got Kylo Ren here, who's getting a new mannequin in a couple of weeks. This side of the shop is crystals and mugs and skateboards and shopping bags, all kinds of different things that I'm skipping over very quickly. There's some massive teddies of stormtroopers there. Behind me on the counter here we have coins and pin badges, Funko Pops, all the kind of things you would expect to see in a collectible shop. There behind me is my full-size stormtrooper. There's a Darth Vader up there. There's a very cool Tommy robot there which is a ride on one, that's a bit awesome. Oh, and then here is Zoltar next to the Stig. So again, giftware at the bottom. Music theme stuff, big Funkos. Bit of Pokemon, Jaws, Disney, Nightmare Before Christmas, E.T., Dragon Ball Z, Alice in Wonderland. So on the top of this case, we've got the brilliant Stephen Rhodes, which are products that we love. There's E.T., General gift where we've got Only Fools and Horses, Dad's Army, Disney, Loungefly and Funko. You've got your lucky waving cats. And then down this wall here, although there is a big gap in the middle because we've some new products coming, is all our general gift wear toys, retro toys, all the fun stuff for people to play with, toy cars, that kind of thing. Down this side as well, we've got lots of different bits of giftware. Oh, there's some Pokemon in the cabinets here. And that gives you a general idea of what the shop floor is like at Brooks Collectibles. If you want to check our opening hours with me, just message me through Facebook and uh, I'll let you know when we're open, when we're here. Most days it's between 10 and 5, out of season it's sort of between 11 and 4, depending on how cold it is or how torrential the sunshine is. <laughs> If you're planning a visit to Blackpool, come in and say hello. If you've watched the video, let me know because it would be nice to meet you. If you've enjoyed the tour, let me know in the comments section below. But for now, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.